Hey y'all, welcome in, or in some cases, welcome back. This is our 31 Days of Prevention series. Today is day six. Um, this is our opportunity to come together to share information, inspiration, and motivation to increase awareness and prevent future and ongoing domestic violence. My name is Marcy Batiste. I am the founder and executive director here at Nine Seconds, and we are a progressive organization progressive nonprofit organization, might I add, uh, with a heart-centered mission and a non-traditional approach to domestic violence prevention. Uh, we make sure that women have the tools and the resources that they need to secure their health, safety, and success. Um, our subject matter for today is being honest. Um, being honest is key in not only preventing domestic violence from occurring, but also in the recovery process, which we never want to overlook what it takes to get over abuse once it's happened to you. And I shared a pretty lengthy story yesterday, um, so I won't go into a whole lot of um, detail about that, but one of the things that came up when I was sharing that story was the fact that one of the things that I had always gotten good at in my previous relationships was making everything look like it was everything. Like making sure that my partner looked good, that the relationship looked good, that the home, that the, everything. Like the whole, the whole image was kind of that all-American dream, that all-American family. Um, she's got it all together. Um, when in reality, for the most part, in most of my relationships, I was a an, an emotional train wreck. I was internally um, battling a lot of my own demons as far as self-esteem issues, daddy was daughter issues, a whole, whole gamut of, of stuff, right? But I was able to mask it. Um, and what that boils down to is I wasn't honest about who I was. I wasn't honest about what was going on. Um, and in terms of an abusive relationship, oftentimes we um, lie, we lie. Um, I'm just gonna call a thing a thing because that was our subject matter yesterday. We lie about what's going on in the relationship. We lie about our, our level of happiness in the relationship. We lie about um, people's participation in the relationship. And what happens is we kind of, our lies sort of box us in, right? Because we've put airs on to the world and I, one of the, um, the viewers yesterday called it being an actress, right? I was an Academy Award winning actress, baby, let me tell you. But we box ourselves in when we're not honest about what's going on with ourselves internally, externally, emotionally. I mean, we're certainly boxing ourselves in when we're not honest about what's going on in a relationship when it's toxic or it's abusive. It's hard once you have been such a good actress and you've put on these airs and you've made everything look like everything is everything to go back then and say, you know what? It was never what I said it was. Um, or maybe in some cases it started out that way, but at the moment that it switched and it became something other than what it started out to be, we have to start being honest about that at that point and stop being afraid to just tell the truth because what happens is we invest a great deal of time and a great deal of energy protecting our abuser at our own expense. So by the time we truly really need to be seeking help, we need to get out of the relationship, we need to seek refuge, we've made up all these stories and we've made everything look like it's something that it's not, that when we need help, people think that, that we're crazy. And I, that was my experience. Like I was, I was with a narcissist for almost four years. And <laughs> when I tried to tell people what he was doing, how he was behaving, his habitual cheating, nobody would believe me, not even my closest friends, because I had done such a good job about lying about my level of happiness, lying about his contribution to the relationship, lying that I had, I had really just like, I was just the luckiest girl in the freaking world. No, I wasn't. So then when I needed help, nobody would believe me. You know, the story of the little, the little boy who cried wolf, I was a little girl who cried wolf. So 
if you are find yourself in a situation where you're you've made the relationship look like something that it's not at the very moment that you realize or you you see you foresee that it's going down a path that you don't want it to go that is in contradiction to what you said it was speak up speak out um you know, one of the things that 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 we're for the month of October, it's speak, stand up, speak up, and never give up, right? And that's what we have to do. We have to start speaking up for ourselves. We have to speak up in the moment that we recognize that it's becoming problematic. We have to speak up. We have to stand up, and we have to say this is not working before it gets to the dangerous point. If we speak up at the red flag stage and we're honest in that red flag stage, then we can prevent it from going much, much, much further. Because domestic violence, if left uninterrupted, does not ever fix itself. It's never going to fix itself. It has to have a disruptor. That disruptor is either going to be um, you getting out before it becomes violent. You're going to end up, the violence is going to escalate. And in worst case scenario, you could end up dead as was the case of a young lady here in, in Phoenix yesterday. Um, so I implore you, I implore all of us, um, even if you're not in an abusive relationship, maybe it's just an unhappy relationship. You're not happy with your situation. If you're not a happy job, you know, we talk about health, safety, and success. And so even in your career, we have to start being honest about where we are emotionally, where we are spiritually, where we are physically in our levels of happiness, our levels of contentment, our levels of satisfaction. We have to start being honest. We have to stop telling lies. We have to stop winning awards for being actresses. So that's my message for today. I only have one ask and that is if you hear something, share something. So hopefully I said something today that maybe sparked a little uh, in you um, or you think that this message might be good for somebody else. Um, please share the video out. Um, if you follow me on a regular basis, make sure you subscribe and like the video. Um, but at the end of the day, you never know who's watching. And beyond that, you never know what they're going through and you never know what message they need to hear. And so even if this message wasn't for you, it didn't touch you in any certain way, you never know. It could be the thing that somebody else needs to hear in order for them to have the courage to end an, a, a toxic, unhealthy, or abusive relationship. So in the meantime and in between time, y'all have a blessed, blessed day. We'll be back tomorrow with day seven of our 31 days of prevention. Until then, um, y'all have a great day and we will catch you later. Bye-bye.